This is Dr. Charles Williamson of Baton Rouge, Louisiana from Williamson Eye. This is a patient with a one millimeter fibrotic pupil post vitrectomy. We're using the expand NT iris speculum to basically enlarge the iris, also break the fibrotic bonds. We capture this across from the wound first and then engage the medial and lateral sides there of the speculum of the pupil. We can uh, reposition the area of the iris and then basically using the Williamson manipulator, basically uh, capture the fourth area of the iris to expand the pupil and break the fibrotic bonds. This patient also had a uh, fibrotic anterior capsule and loose zonules. Uh, basically, we're considering this case to be an anterior chamber lens case. I actually had to use scissors to incise the anterior capsule in order to uh, get the capsulotomy started. And then uh, you can see as I go around with the capsulorexis, I think you'll see the lens actually, how loose it is. It's the zonules missing almost uh, 180 or 200 degrees. After the uh, capsulorexis, I then put viscoelastic using viscoat underneath the nucleus, uh, basically teasing the nucleus out of the bag up to the area of the iris plane anterior chamber. I fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic and then basically lower the bottle to low flow to wash as little of the viscoelastic out as possible and carefully perform the phacoemulsification, emulsification, removing the remainder of the nucleus. Using the INA, remove the uh, scanned amount of cortex there is left. The nuclear bag is still in place, so no vitrectomy is needed, but uh, uh, obviously it's not uh, intact, uh, uh, stable enough to hold a posterior chamber lens. The uh, anterior chamber lens is needed to be inserted now. So at this point, I'll remove the expand iris speculum. Usually in a posterior chamber lens, we do this after the lens is placed. In this case, we'll need to do it before the lens is placed since it's an anterior chamber lens. We capture the speculum across from the wound. Just basically lift it up off the iris and laying on top. This is a fairly easy maneuver. Then we capture the area of the speculum at the wound and holding the speculum just easily remove it. The wound was opened up. You can see the iris, the pupil's been opened up nicely. An anterior chamber lens then is uh, basically slid across the anterior chamber. Uh, sutures are put in place and then the lens is repositioned inside the eye, making sure that uh, there's no Irish capture.